we are back in Canada. Well, sorry I didn't get to film more than I, I, I could. The internet was horrible and you know, we're on vacation, having a good time. So now I'm in Charlevoix. And now I went from the cruise to a club med. Look at the nice room, it's nice rooms. There's like, uh, there's a king here, two beds here. Don't need them, but I have them. Um, all right, so let's talk about the cruise real quick. Let's talk about the weigh-in real quick. So when I left, I was 298.2, I think it was, 2.4 maybe. Uh, I remember saying, you know, if I can come back and I'm at 303, I'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the first day. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Dangerous place, folks. Dangerous, dangerous place. I weighed in this morning at 308.6 or 0.8 or something like that. Ugh. Hits hard. It's not all fat. There's some fat in there, but it's not all fat. It's just everything is, listen, it's greasy. Everything's greasy. There's desserts everywhere you turn, tried all kinds of different desserts. Didn't eat big quantities of food, but it was bad food. So, yeah. I think I put on, <laughs> let's see. I think I put on a, a good pound and a half, maybe, of actual calories above my 2,500 that I'm allowed per day. So if, I, if I'm allowed 2,500 per day, and I was on a cruise for seven days, and a pound is 3,500, so an extra 500, so... Yeah, that means that I eat around 32 to 3,300 calories a day. I mean, there's some days I know I didn't, but there's some other days where... <laughs> yeah, so listen, we'll find out. Um, it's just like last time. As soon as I, It's all going to start melting off. As soon as I start eating well again, it's all going to come off. I probably have a week of just just getting rid of all the all the, ba all the bad stuff and then drinking a lot of water and being good. Because I did go from, see where I went wrong, and this is where I might be off. When I say a pound and a half, it could be closer to two or three. I went from not eating breakfast at all to, I wasn't kidding, in the last video, I think I wrote, I said I've become a hobbit where I'm, I'm having two breakfasts. I start, I wake up early, so I go grab a bite of something. I take my pill for my, for my uh, heartburn. And then I'll go get something like um, scrambled eggs, um, sometimes they, sometimes they have, um, bagels with cream cheese and salmon, smoked salmon on it. It's the only fish I can eat is smoked salmon on a bagel. So I would have that and that'd be enough. But right there, that's still a lot of calories. That bagel with all that. Now I don't take both sides. I take one side of the bagel, but you know, it adds up. And then after that, by the time the rest of the family wakes up, I do that around 630. Then everybody wakes up around 930, 10, and then they want to, they head back down to eat. And I just kind of sit there for as long as I can take it. And after that, well, they, I just see all the good food coming. Foods I didn't see the first time around. I go, oh, you know what? Let me just take a bite of that. And I take a bite. I go, oh, that's good. Let me go get one. So it was a lot of that <laughs> this week. So I could very well be up two or three pounds. Uh, I'm not worried. I said it. I it's, It is what it is. And not only that, but the other people that are with me are also on types of Sixenda or or they're being good with their weight and everybody gained between, I think the lowest I saw was eight pounds and the highest was 12. So we're all in the same boat. We all ate a bunch of garbage. We were on vacation mode. We, we were doing whatever makes us happy and we're foodies. So food makes us happy. If that's the problem, that's why we're trying to be good about it. But on vacation, I don't mind it. You know, if I do that a couple times a year, so be it. And plus now, now I'm not done, right? That's the other thing. So I, 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 I'm, by the time I came home yesterday, last night, I got home last night, I didn't want seafood. I, I kept telling myself, you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter how badly I ate. I don't even want to, like, it's not even enjoyable right now, the food. I it just, I've had too much crap and I could really use the no eating for a day or two. Okay. And then I show up at Club Med. Oh my God. You should see the food here. They're serving lobster, uh, tomahawks. What the hell? I'm just gonna. What am I gonna just not eat? <laughs> you know, that, that'd be the smart thing. A skinny person would probably say, "Well, Pat, it's it's very simple. Just don't eat any." Yeah, no, it's not simple. So I, I don't know how much I'm gonna wait. Uh, I'm gonna lose, or if I will lose, but I don't want to gain. Okay, so um, here's my game plan. Game plan is not more than one drink a day, because booze is included. And 
or maybe two, maybe two. We'll say two drinks a day, right? Because it's included, and they don't they don't have the the crappy booze. They got the oh my god booze. So I'll say two drinks, okay? That's not bad, and no desserts. Okay, we're gonna have food, no desserts. That's the plan. See if I can just hang on here, and then whenever I get back home Thursday night, late, late, late. Well, then we're good. So it'll be October, I'm guessing. I don't know what date we are. Um, but then we're good until the end of November. So then I want to do a big push. I think I'm aiming to get in 280s. That'd be nice. Get in 280s would be a good push by then. And then go do my Vegas thing, which... You know what? Last time I, I went to Vegas, I was saying how, oh, with all the buffets, it's going to be bad. I didn't do any. Honestly, I in Vegas, I, I don't, I'm not thinking about food so much. I'm just having a good time, seeing a lot of stuff, playing a lot of games. And uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't think I'm actually going to gain weight. I'll probably eat some salty stuff there, but I don't think I'll, I will gain any actual weight when I go to Vegas. So that's good. And then it's a push till Christmas. And then Christmas, well, the week of, between the 25th and the 1st, I'll bet her off. <laughs> For, and then we continue that. You know what? If this would be my lifestyle long term, I'd be okay with that. As long as it's manageable and I don't fall off the wagon like I did when I went uh, to Niagara Falls. And this is the second test now, right? So now I've been gone again a week, had all the food in the world. I'm not done till Thursday. Now let's see if I'm strong enough to get back on track. I think so. I think I learned the lesson from the last one, but we'll see. And you'll see, you know, you guys are here for the ride. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So thanks everybody for hanging, watching those videos. I know it, there was no scale. I, I didn't bring a scale here either. Um, yeah. So everybody's back home. A lot of people are sick. I'm the only one that's not sick, it feels like, and I'm leaving. Anyway, so uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.